Hello everyone. Welcome to Core Basics coding tutorial. Today's topic is variables in Julia programming language. I just opened a Julia command line interpreter by double clicking on this icon. In order to see how to install Julia, please watch my previous video on Julia installation. All right. Julia is a dynamic programming language. What it means is you don't need to define the type of a variable in advance. Now just to go over basics, variable is a container that holds some kind of data. It could be numeric, string, etc. In Julia, you can directly assign variable or value without defining a, defining a type. So if you say a equal to 2, it will just work. And if you use type of function to know the type of that variable it will tell you integer 64 so at runtime it detected that the number 2 is integer 64 and that's why it assigned the value this that's why it's, it is saying the type of a is integer 64 i'm using 64 bit operating system if you are using 32 bit operating system then this will be integer 32 you can assign a different value to the same variable you can say a is julia which is a string so now type of a will be a string here it is saying it's an ascii string because we don't have any unicode characters however you can assign unicode character inside a string for that you have to use slash character and let's say i want to type in alpha so you will say slash alpha and then hit the tab key this will allow you to type type in the unicode character now let's see what happens when i say type of a hmm interesting here it is saying utf8 string because the character is unicode and internally it is using utf8 encoding you can also use unicode characters as a variable name for example i want to use alpha or let's say delta as my variable name so you'll say slash delta hit the tab key equal to four so again slash delta hit the tab key and it works so you can use all these spatial characters as a variable name julia comes with predefined constants for example when you say pi pi it already knows what pi means it has this value assigned to it however you can use pi as a variable name and assign a different value to it the reason it is giving this warning is because it is not recommended to use these predefined constants as variable names but there is no strict enforcement so it will still allow you to use it as a variable name same thing applies for predefined function sqrt is a predefined function in julia which allows you to calculate the square root of a number but you can use that as a variable name so now sqrt means variable which has a value 9 one rule you have to remember is that you cannot use predefined keywords as variable names for example you will use for to write for loop in any programming language you cannot use for as a variable name here because for has a specific meaning same thing applies to f you can get if you google it you can get a list of keywords uh, like for if etc um, and you should not use them as a variable name all right that was all about variables in julia thanks for watching